guys, welcome back to the Cyrus Fiend Team Channel. Today we are going to be checking out one of Seattle's most popular neighborhoods and one of its oldest, Ballard. Ballard is a pretty large neighborhood that is just above Seattle. It sits about 15 minutes northwest and it's pretty easy to get into downtown. Ballard was originally established in the 1850s, making it one of the oldest neighborhoods in Seattle. And it really started to take its shape and grow in popularity in the late 1800s due to the fishing and the lumber trade. Many early residents immigrated from Scandinavia. And so even to this day, you can see the Scandinavian influence all throughout the neighborhood. We're here outside the National Nordic Museum, which is a great way to spend the afternoon, very educational. It's about 20 bucks to get in, and it goes over the history of five different Nordic countries, and it has about 12,000 years of history in it. So really fun way to spend the afternoon here. Most of the time when you think of Ballard, people's mind immediately goes towards the Ballard Locks. And for good reason, it's one of Seattle's most popular attractions, especially in the summer months. It's a super cool experience to watch and what happens is boats go to and from Lake Union to the Sound. And so they go into these locks, they tie up, and then the water level raises or lowers depending on which direction they're going. And it's just such a Seattle experience to come and watch this happen. Even if you've lived here your whole life, it's still fun to come every once in a while and just see it happen. On the other side of the locks is the salmon ladder, and this allows the salmon to go to and from the Puget Sound to complete their spawning process. You can watch them make this journey from late spring to early fall, and peak viewing time is July until late September. to the locks as well as the fish ladder, there's seven acres of a botanical garden, and this includes all sorts of flowers, including rare ones. This is such a fun way to spend a sunny day and come out here and have a picnic. This is actually on my to-do list to show my family when they come out here, because I'm trying to make them fall in love with Seattle as much as I have. Ballard is well known to have one of the best beaches in Seattle as well. This is Golden Gardens Park and it has a really awesome beach area. They even have fire pits and you're allowed to light fires during the summer months. And on a clear day, you have the most amazing views of the Olympic Mountains. As you can see, you can come hang out with your friends, play a little bit of volleyball, watch the sunset. It's also a great way to watch the wildlife. We've seen seals here before. Really great way to spend the day. There's little picnic areas. There's even covered areas that you can rent out if you wanted to have a hangout or a little party here. And there is a place to bring your pup with little dog park too. Ballard is a tight-knit community and the residents love living here because of the trendy restaurants, bars, galleries, music venues, just all the fun things to do, including endless outdoor activities. to come down to Market, Leary, or Ballard Avenue and explore many of the unique shops that they have to offer. Ballard is also home to the Sunday Market and that runs year round, rain or shine, no matter what. So it's a lovely way to spend your Sunday morning, grab a pastry, a cup of coffee, and shop for your weekly groceries. that I am the biggest foodie, and in my opinion, Ballard has some of the best restaurants in Seattle. Some of those restaurants are Sabine, Northwest Parish, and what we're gonna be checking out next, which is San Fermo. San Fermo. 
Palermo is one of my favorite spots in Ballard. It is the cutest little Italian restaurant, and what they did is they took an old craftsman and they converted it into a cute, trendy little restaurant. This is such a great spot for a date night or just a great dinner. All right, now let's talk about what Ballard has to offer in terms of real estate. As for condo buildings, you can find studios in the mid 300s and one bedrooms from 400 and up. And there's an awesome mix of boutique buildings as well as brand new construction you can find in Ballard. You can find townhomes starting in the mid 700s and going up from there. And as you can see, most townhomes are attached and you typically find them in stacks of three or four. They can have parking, carports, garages. Every builder's a little bit different. You can also find standalone townhomes as well. single family homes, you can find a wide variety starting in the 900s and just going up from there. It's truly all across the board and you can find a variety of home styles too. Craftsman's, Victorian's, 1950 mid-century modern, war boxes, it's all over. You can find everything in Ballard, even new construction. I hope you enjoyed our day in Ballard. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and tune in for our next video. Bye.